Hey everybody, wishing everyone a very happy World Storytelling Day. I have a story which is all about something lost but found. The Mango Tree. Once in a small town in India, there was a small house and in that small house there lived a young man, his wife and the young man's sister. The small house had a small garden and at the back of the garden there grew a small mango tree. One day the young man's wife came to him and said, Look here, I have something to tell you. Oh, I've heard it all before, said the brother. Well, yes, I know whatever I say falls on deaf ears. But I'm quite confused and fed up with the situation. You see, your sister, she doesn't help me with the household chores. I wake up early in the morning, draw water from the well. I light the kitchen fire. I clean, cook and do all the household work. And you know what your sister does? What is it? Oh, she just talks to the mango tree, sings to it waters it, cleans all the weeds from its shadows, mulches it and manures it. She's absolutely lazy. The young man laughed, smiled because he loved his sister and he said, that's not all that she does. She does talk to me, you see, and we also play chess. The young man's wife knew all this fell on deaf ears and she needed to do something about it. So one day she approached her husband and said, Dearest husband, don't you think it's time we got your sister married? After all, she is of marriageable age. The young man knew that his wife was right. And although it was going to be a wrench, difficult to be parted with his sister whom he loved, adored, he knew that her marriage had to be fixed. Soon a suitable groom was found, mutually liked by the groom and the bride and the marriage was solemnized. Now just before the young sister left for her husband's hometown, which happened to be the neighboring town, she turned to her sister-in-law and said, dearest sister-in-law, promise me you will take care of my mango tree. Please water it, mulch it, pull out the weeds and also manure it. All that I ask of you is to take care of my mango tree. And she left. No sooner had she left, the young man's wife turned to her husband and said, Did you hear that? Did you listen to your sister? What a selfish selfish woman. All that she cares for is the mango tree. She's not going to miss you or me. And the young man's wife thought to him herself, at last I've got rid of my sister-in-law and I've got rid of the mango tree. I'm not going to take care of it. Soon the days passed. As the days passed, the unwatered, uncared for mango tree started drying its leaves and they began to fall to the ground. At the same time the brother who enjoyed a robust and healthy life suddenly lost his appetite and grew thinner and thinner. One day a letter arrived from the sister and she had addressed her sister-in-law. Dearest sister-in-law how is my brother? I hope my mango tree is doing well. The leaves are green. And the sister-in-law wrote back, Dearest sister, Oh yes, your tree is fine. But your brother, Not doing so well. Not good. Soon another letter arrived from the sister. And this time she had written, Are you sure you're taking care of the mango tree? Are the leaves green? And how is my brother doing? The mango tree had just one brown leaf left. And 
the brother's health had deteriorated. The doctors had given up hope. So the sister-in-law wrote back, Dearest sister, your mango tree is all right, but your brother? Things are bad. The doctors have almost given up hope. When the sister received this letter, she rushed back to her hometown and straight went into the small garden to water the small mango tree. As she watered it, cleared the weeds from its shade, mulched it, talked to it and sang to it, it began slowly to turn green. The brother too began to recover his health. As more leaves returned to the mango tree, her brother's cheeks grew pinker and the eyes brightened. Within a month, the mango tree was healthy and strong and so was her brother. It was only then that the sister turned to her sister-in-law and said, Dearest sister-in-law, now do you understand? It was not the mango tree that I loved, but my brother. It was not the tree whose welfare I was concerned with, but my brother's. You see, the mango tree and my brother share a common soul. It was my duty to look after them both. Thank you.